Hello, my name is Janan. This is my ePortfolio. Today I'll be showing you the 15 hours I conducted for music, dance and visual arts. Our first stop today is visual arts. I attended the workshop created by Kate and Georgia. Thanks to them, I was able to experience five hours of visual arts in a creative way. The first activity we did was making pots using clay. It was interesting that Georgia suggested that we play around with the clay before we actually make the pot. It allowed me to get a sense of how the student may react before starting the activity. Kate scaffolded with clear instructions how to form the pot. I did this through putting my thumb in the ball I have made and kept stretching it out until I pleased. It was interesting to see how everyone else's turned out different, which reflects back on individual creativity. The second activity involved three different types of paper and different resources to use on the paper, such as charcoal, ink and oil pastels. It was interesting to see what I could create using these resources. I played around with the ink mainly. I must admit I did get this idea from Kate. It was fun to see the different ideas you can grab from people to create your own. Using this idea, I used a paintbrush to drop some water on the paper. I then dropped some ink on the paper where the water was located and it was amazing to see how the ink reacted to the drops of water. At first, I did not know where my artwork was going, but after playing around with it, it looked like I have created a heart, which was still detached to something. To be honest, I did not know I had this creativity in me. The last activity which we conducted in visual arts was painting on a canvas. I was so excited. At first, I thought I was going to be instructed on what to paint, but it was not the case. We first painted the background using different colours. I did not have an idea of what I wanted to paint yet, although I did use cooling colours as it made me feel calm. We allowed the background to dry and then we began to paint. I started off by drawing a tree as a tree represents growth to me and I believe that this is a stage in my life. I felt this activity bring out my inner creativity. It was interesting to see what I could do as I don't usually paint. Overall in visual arts, we used different materials and different resources to play around with. It was interesting to see what we could do with these resources as now I have a greater understanding of visual arts and bringing out my inner creativity to do so to my students. Moving on, the next workshop I attended was music. And yes, I did yell that out because I was so super excited for this workshop. The workshop was conducted by Rachel and Kate. Please forgive me, I cannot say Kate's surname, so Rachel, I won't say yours as well. Thanks to Rachel and Kate, I was able to establish my five hours in a fun and enjoyable way and also very creative. The first activity we did was very interesting. We used our bodies to create music. This was with clapping, stomping and slapping on our bodies. For the next activity, one of the activities conducted was we had a grid number to 16. Eight people in the group, each person wrote down the notes they wanted to play. Here's what it sounded like. Another resource used was the tube. We used it as a classroom and in groups. Yeah. 
The next activity was singing. It was interesting to see how we can use our vocals to create music. Overall, the music workshop was very beneficial to me and to my future teaching career. I've learned so much and he also gained my confidence, although I do not have enough room to fit everything I did. The final workshop I completed was dance. The first dance that we conducted was in a group of five. In this group, we had to create a dance on what we do when we wake up. We used each other's ideas and put it all together. Even though we had a routine that we followed by Rachel, there was also our individual parts where we can add on and create our own moves. A challenge during dance was remembering all the dance movements, although with hours of practice we went pretty well at the end. This is beneficial for teaching when asked to create a dance routine for performance. These are the following teaching standards that I use throughout my ePortfolio. Thanks for watching. See you next time.